Hello, I'm Sir Andy, and I'm here to teach you rational expressions. So this is a little bit of an introduction for a new lesson in Algebra 1. Now let's take a look at the overview. This video aims to answer the following questions. What are rational expressions? How do we derive the excluded value of a rational expression? So let's first define what's a rational expression. A rational expression is a ratio of two polynomials. That is, if p of x and q of, f, q of x are polynomials, then r of x equal to p of x over q of x is a rational expression. As you can see, r of x is a polynomial. Why? Because p of x is a polynomial over another polynomial q of x. Let's have some examples. 6x squared minus 3x plus 4 over 12x squared minus 3x plus 8. We can consider this one as a polynomial. As you can see, the numerator is a trinomial and also the denominator as a trinomial. So this is a polynomial over a polynomial, which is a rational expression. 1 over 5y. We have a monomial in the numerator and another monomial in the denominator. So monomial over monomial is a rational expression. Consider the polynomial x cubed minus 3x squared minus 5x plus 4. We can rewrite this one as a polynomial over a constant, which is again a polynomial over a monomial, which is a rational expression. So these are examples of rational expressions. So what's our, what, what are excluded values? The set of excluded value of a rational expression is the set of real numbers that will make the expression undefined. The excluded value can be derived by equating the denominator of a rational expression to zero. Values that will make the denominator zero are excluded values. So, for example, p of x over q of x. This can be become undefined when q of x will become zero or any number divided by zero will become eventually meaningless or undefined. So it's important first to define the excluded value or values of a rational expression to know what values will make the expression undefined. So that's our task for today. So remember, for you to have the excluded values, the denominator or q of x should be equal to zero. Let's equate first the denominator to zero. Then. Either we can factor q of x to derive a factored form. Then let's solve for x. x shouldn't be equal to a and b. Okay, now let's take some examples on how to get the excluded value of a rational expression. Take, for instance, 2 over 7y. What values of y or value of y will make this one undefined? So remember that for this one to be undefined, the denominator should be 0. So let's equate the denominator to 0. Okay? So this is a linear equation. What value of y or values of y will make this one 0? So this is easy to solve since it's linear. By solving, we have y equal to 0. Now, 
the meaning of this is your y should not be equal to 0. That's why it's called the excluded value. In the expression, if the value of y should be 0, then this um, expression will become meaningless. Let's take another example. 2x minus 6 over 3x plus 12. So what's the denominator? We have 3x plus 12. Okay? If this expression becomes 0, then the expression will become meaningless. So let's try to equate 3x plus 12 equal to 0. Now, how do we solve this one? easy we can factor it first okay so I factor 3x plus 12 equal to 0 to 3 times the quantity x plus 4 now we have three, two factors here 3 and x plus 4 now either factors will be 0 okay thus making it um, the expression 0 so let's solve for the first factor the factor, the other factor is 3, but the second factor is x plus 4. So let's equate that one to 0, and we get x equal to negative 4. Therefore, the excluded value is minus 4. Therefore, in the expression, x should not be equal to negative 4. Let's take another example. 1 over 9x squared minus 4. Let's equate the denominator to 0. 9x squared minus 4 equal to 0. By factoring, I can see that this one is a difference of 2 squares. So we have two factors, 3x minus 2 times quantity 3x plus 2. Okay, solving first for the 0 of the first factor, we can solve... Oh, sorry, and solving for the um, zero for the second part factor, we can get two values: x equal to two thirds, and the other one is x equals negative two thirds. So therefore, our excluded values are negative two thirds and two thirds, positive two thirds. So for this example, we have two. Um, excluded values. Okay, example number four. x minus 3 over 3x squared minus 21x plus 36. We can factor the denominator as 3 times quantity x minus 4 and x minus 3. So, I can get it first as a GCF, factored it, 3 times the quantity x squared minus 7x plus 12. However, this factor, I can still factor it because I think this is a quadratic trinomial. So the factored form, complete factored form of the denominator is 3 times x minus 4 times the quantity x minus 3. Getting the zeros of the two factors we can get x equal to 4, the other one, x equal to 3. Therefore, the excluded value should be 4 and 3. Let's take the fifth example. So what are you going to do first? Think, what will make this um, example or uh, expression undefined? We can get it by equating the denominator to 0. Now, let's think. What type of factoring can we use? Let's try GCF. Let's factor 2. Or 2x, rather. So I think the GCF for all of this term is 2x. So let's try to remove 2x. Factor it out. Okay, it's, it will become 2x times the quantity x squared minus 5x plus 6 equal to 0. However, this is a quadratic trinomial. We can still factor this one out, okay? So it will become completely factored as 2x times the quantity x minus 2 times the quantity x minus 3. 
equating them to 0 will yield three values of x. First, x equal to 0 for this factor, x minus 2 for this factor, and x minus 3 for this factor. Now, we have three excluded values, 0, 2, and 3. Now, try to practice it on your own.